Good morning. This is the only downside about fall turning into winter. You have to wait a little bit longer for sunrises. Hi, little bit. Good morning, Leo. Uh, so I came down at one and did a barn check. So this is a little orphan. Not really an orphan. It's that preemie calf that was real small and mama was doing really good and then all of a sudden it kind of, I just noticed it wasn't gaining weight. So we brought it home. I think if I had more time before I leave this week, um, I probably would have tried to bring the cow home too, but she's older. Um, like I said, the calf was premature anyway. Just not growing the way it should, so. A little warm this morning. You're just not as hungry yet. Hey, baby. Can you hear him shadow over there? Mm. Come here. I'm gonna have to put this down. Nothing like getting home and being put straight to work, huh? How many views I got? I don't. What did you say? Do it again. How many views I got? We'll do your thingy again. Back up and do it. Is it going viral? I hope so. Maybe it'll go viral on YouTube. Back it up. I gotta go get your tractor. What are you doing with my tractor? Oh, okay. We're moving stuff. Because guess what? One, I'm leaving in a short while. Well, the next few days. There's stuff showing up. Can you see it? Look. Um, so our contractor stopped by with some of his equipment and our shop might finally be started. So I've been to my sister's, we've been to Walmart, I got all the stuff that I think I need for my trip, including some new luggage, because mine, it was from high school, from a while back. Um, got my hair. Finally done. Looks so much better. Maybe I'll attempt to do it next week. Maybe. Maybe not. But it's finally no longer looking atrocious. My sister said that the cows won't be scared of me no more. They'll know who I am. We'll see. <sighs> I have a lot to get done in the next 24 hours. Because I'd like to have everything accomplished tomorrow afternoon so I can go and enjoy the homecoming parade with Keaton. So we're finally getting the rest of the hay picked up from yesterday's bailing. Uh, we had some issues with the skill loader. We did a bunch of running around this morning and I went and got my hair done and now we're going to finish loading and unloading and then we're done for a little bit and then we got to move cows and then I'll start packing. So we just have a few more to pick up. Jason's gonna run the skid loader just down the road. Uh, that could be rain. It's very dusty. Very dusty. share with Meredith our hauling hay. Maybe she'll come visit. You think she'd haul our hay? You know, this would make for a real nice cattle rod. Hi, Dad. I was intending to walk 
this morning. Oh, there's a tree. Um, I was intending to walk down this morning, but I just got a phone call. And uh, I'm too excited to walk. So I'm gonna drive. Not only that is I need to get back because I haven't even got the kids up and going yet. So, are you ready for today's surprise? All considering I'm flying out tomorrow! Y'all, if that's not the most beautiful view I've ever seen, morning sunrises are my absolute favorite time of the day. I am running back home to get the kids squared away and then I'll walk back down to work and it's gonna be a great day, great day. If I would have been on top of it, you could have seen the whole thing, but. Uh, I have this to make and a baby to feed and a house to get ready and a uh, bag pack and, uh, oh yeah, hey, guess what? They're starting our building today. So let's go. She tries. All right, now daddy's turn. Good job, Keaton. All right, mommy's gonna walk to work. Give me kisses. I gotta go take care of the baby. My last morning walkthrough for a few days. Um, Jason has a truck and he is getting the kids on the bus this morning for me. They're, they're doing a practice run while I do my last day of walking. So I'm getting my morning cardio in on my new fitness journey with uh, Farm Pit Mama. So uh, I'm walking, talking. Jason's getting the kids on the bus for me this morning. Um, they, they were doing a practice run, so they all knew what they were to do when mom's gone. <sighs> we have excitement at the shop. It's starting! So um, I don't know how much videoing the gang will do while I'm gone. I am leaving the cameras. I am leaving batteries and self-explanatory notes. We'll see what happens, but the shop, the shop is... I probably could have just waited, huh? That's all right. You gonna bring her outside today? Uh, maybe. Where do you want me to bring her out? Where do you want me to bring her to? Just right here? Ryder loves his baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Come on. She's like, oh no. I'm not supposed to go any further. Come on. There you go. Ryder loves his baby. Come on. She doesn't think, I don't think she knows that she can leave. That's okay, just come here. Can you turn me some lights on? Ryder. Come here. Come here. Isn't this just the sweetest little thing you've ever seen? Mama's gonna miss you. Do you guys remember when I had Sandy the sheep? I uh, fostered a baby, and that's what she reminds me of. Is a li the little bitty sheep I had. I'm hoping that um, when I come back, she'll still remember who I am. And uh, I let her out, and she can tag along for a little bit anyway. I hope it'll be okay with the gate now. I guess we'll find out. They're not over here.
Who's in there with her? The Hereford. Oh, it's pretty tiny, ain't it? Huh? Not like that other one. I mean, her bag's full now. So. I don't think she's been very long, very long ago. So this is a new one. It's a new little heifer. 86B. It's one of our original heifers. First cat. So we're working on making a few things a little bit easier while I'm gone. One of them is getting wherever it's at. That go bob. We're gonna take it back to the mare lot, and here's hoping and praying that uh, nobody gets out one gone. You can get them with the slings. Of course, this is the horse side of it. Um, I can go up and show you um, the cattle side of it, but the horses have these nice brakes in them because you're always rubbing your manes out. Um, we are gonna put out two nice, good, big squares. I'll show you how we put them in there. And then I'm gonna bring Leo down. I'm just trying to make sure everything is easy. Bless his heart really is trying. He's doing all the chores for me. You, these Go Bob um, hay savers make life a lot easier. They probably won't need two bales, but uh, we're going to put in two bales just to make things, make sure they have plenty. We pulled Leo's shoes off and I brought him down to the mare paddock for while I'm gone. I think he'll be fine. It's just for five days, right? Everybody will survive for five days. The mares are unfazed with his childlike antheses. And since Scooter's gone, Jason will probably end up riding Leo more. And uh, until Shiloh is back in the picture, I'll probably just pull Queen Bee back up and ride her a little bit. Um, she's Scooter's half sibling, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm talking about you, QB. Um, uh, so just make do until we get some more. I sound like Meredith, but that's just kind of where we're at. Just kind of where we're at. What do you think, buddy? What do you are going up. 
it might be done by the time I come back from Colorado. I really hope the guys get you some footage while I'm gone. What are you doing, baby? Hmm? What are you doing? Nothing? Nothing? Hmm? Hi, Dolly. Dolly. You'd be all right. I'm only gonna be gone a few days. You'd be all right. You'd be all right. She knows I'm leaving. They both know I'm kind of stressed out. I've been kind of staying close to mom today. But okay. Well, as much as I'd like to sit out here and watch them, I have way too many things to be doing. Like, I gotta finish cleaning this stall out. I procrastinated. Procrastinated because I've been sitting and walking and attempting to pack and I've decided that packing is really overrated and that um, I really don't have a whole lot of options because I got rid of all my work clothes when I left the office. So I don't have a whole lot of like cutesy fun stuff. So uh, I emailed the girls and I said, um, what are you all wearing? And uh, Natalie told me to come as I am. So uh, I think that's just gonna be my farm shirts that I always wear. And maybe a cleaner pair of boots. Always faithful. Aren't you? Where are you going? Leave her alone. Hey, quit. Oh, you need some alfalfa, do you?